Yo. Thought that was a cat. Huh. That's one tra- Oh, there he is. He was up there. That's one trashy looking uh, hideout that dude has. Good morning, guys. We are back in Washington, D.C. If you look right behind me over there, that is the monument. Every time I come out here, my goal is always the same. It's to catch one of those giant ass snakeheads, which I've never done out of this particular body of water, even though they're literally swarming in certain parts of the uh, tidal basin right here. Oh, it's pretty out here. Check this out, we've got the cherry blossoms and uh, it looks like it's full bloom, I'd say. Fun fact, these cherry blossom trees are also known as Sakura trees. They originate from Japan. I'm pretty confident that's the case. You can uh, double check my facts, but you can see it's uh, pretty out here, but not really my main concern. What I care about is how's the fishing gonna be today? Let's make our way. Oh, there's a scooter over here. Yo, check that out. That is a Lyft scooter. Man, Lyft has really come a long way since they've uh, tried to put uh, Uber out of business. I wonder which company is bigger. I have no idea. But here's, here's our starting point. This nice, clean looking corner right here. We're gonna grab a bait and start fishing. Good news guys. Water temp is 58 degrees. That is a great temperature for the spring. We might be able to make some magic happen. Got some stained water, so you know what? Let's go ahead and start with a white extrap. The shad should be running through here, so it should be a perfect imitation of the natural forage that the predator fish are feeding on. Oh, look at the bubbles. Don't fall in. I just checked the um, tides. It's low tide right now, but you can also tell, if you don't have a tide chart, you can tell by how far up the uh, the water line goes up on the on the side wall right there. You see high tide will probably go up to about there. It's about four or five feet down, which is indicative of low tide. But yeah. So we've made a move. The tide is very low. You can see the rocks. Looks it's only about two and a half feet deep right there. Just gonna cover some water, switch it up from a jerk bait to a lipless crank bait. Fishing still a little bit slow right now, tide's still coming in, but for now we can uh, just enjoy the scenery. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's good fish. Gosh, finally. What the hell do we have? It's a big largie, I think. Good size largie. The fish in here are fighters. This, this might not even be a huge fish, but it's fighting like a freight train. God, he smacked it, short-lined it. Oh, we gotta play, him clear. gotta play him carefully. Okay, come on. Finally, dude, I covered all about a mile of water all the way from the past the memorial, all the way to the spillway over here. First bite. Oh, it's a big smallie, and he's hooked in the freaking head. No wonder why he's fighting so hard. This is a beautiful bronzy. Oh, we gotta land this guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel something pulling. Oh no, he's getting snagged. Okay, we gotta land him. No more playing around. Oh my gosh. I was gonna have to go for it. We got a 15 pound line, we should be safe. That's a beauty. Okay, ready? All right, here we go guys. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, two and nine, do I have one hook or two hooks? Two and nine tenths. Man, he smacked it. Oh, I have one hook in him. Oh, shoot. What the three, go, let's go! Woo, that's how you freaking land a smolly right there. Check that out, guys. Beautiful smolly right here. Oh, man. Snack, he swiped at it. Hooked him right in the top of the head. Right there, as you can see. Get him unhooked. Beautiful first fish of the day. Let's get a release on him. There's the monument. Gorgeous day out here. Here we go, buddy. I'll let you go. Off he goes. I'll tell you guys what. Pound for pound, you cannot beat... That's a carp. 
the fight of a tidal river smallie in fresh water. They fight like freaking bulldogs. I'm not surprised that I finally got my first fish because you can see the tide is starting to move. Anytime there's slack tide in a tidal body of water, the fish are usually pretty inactive even in the morning. So, oh, I think I saw a fish over there. This, this should be prime time. The thing that worries me is that I hooked that fish on top of the head, so I don't know if this is the right bait. He didn't really seem that interested in eating it. I might switch to a jerk bait, then after that, a swim bait. Try to explore all my options. Oh, I got one. I got one. There's another one. He smacked the jerk bait. Oh, it's a largey this time. All right. Maybe we'll get the uh, trifecta, get a striper. Dude, this guy swiped at it too. You ain't going nowhere, buddy. Uh, he might go somewhere, but we'll see. Ready, go. <sighs> Woo. That is an interesting way to hook a fish. That's all I can say. This is a nice, I mean, this got to be exact same size, about two and a quarter. Beautiful fish right here. Large action. So I switched to the jerk bait because the lipless, they really didn't try to eat it. But this jerk bait, I must say, they're not really trying to eat that either. This guy just swiped at it. Fish number two. Nice specimen right here. Actually has a nice belly too. So both fish today coming from the spillway. You see the tide's moving pretty fast now. It should be pretty much full force by now. Let's go ahead and let this guy go. All right. So I was actually about to make a move and start covering more water, but after seeing that phenomena, I don't think we can leave biting fish. There's, oh sh shoot, another fish right there. Do I got him? Do I got him? Did he come back? He came back, he came back. I was a little dude. All right, number three though, still hitting the jerk bait. I think all three of my fish came right up against the wall. Uh, decent largey. I will right, we'll take that. Calm down, buddy. Barely hooked him. I missed him, came back, barely clipped him with his hook on the next time. I mean, he tried to eat it though. He's been caught before too. See that? Skinny little dude. Let you go. So, all three fish coming right up against the wall. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Tide's coming in pretty fast, actually, if you can tell. You can tell by the movement of this uh, white pollution. But the fish are all just hanging out right here where there's no current. They, they're not using any energy. They're just waiting for little forage species to swim right by. And then as soon as they do, those fish pounce. A couple more days, maybe they should be. Oh yeah, They've you think so? Yeah. Okay, but you haven't heard of anyone actually catching him without four mile run. They they've okay. a couple. Okay. Yeah, they they always do that somehow. I don't know why they the snakeheads like biting at four mile run. Yeah. I mean, their uh, buddy fishes um, parts of Madeline, and he caught a couple there. Uh, okay. As far as like, I talked to my buddy. I was here yesterday. There's he, one. He, I went, oh, what the hell is this? Striper. A little striper. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, schoolies right here. We got Morgan. You guys, I'm sure you remember him. This is the king of snakeheads. He's got the only technique that you can use out here to catch him. What well, show, shows what we got? Frowned upon, you know. But I mean, <laughs> hey, hey, but snakeheads are invasive, so yeah. no big deal. It's not like you're snagging bass the or anything. The rush you get yeah. when you see them come up and you pitch that snagging yeah. hook, and dude, it's. it's I've seen it firsthand, cool. and they fight like crazy. Oh those God. giant snakeheads. Yeah. Uh, that's no schoolie. Yeah, I mean, this is a baby. But actually, I was hoping to get the bass trifecta today. So now I got the smallie, the largey, and now we get the little striper. Sweet. But I just come out here and enjoy the scenery. Yeah, the tide's coming in too now. It so is perfect. Light. That's why you came out, right? Yeah. Exactly right. I just came out to avoid traffic, so I came out here early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck in about an hour through the traffic, but I mean, hey, you know, That's I'm what? here, so let's, let's hey, make some. There you happen. go. Yeah, get your line in the water. Sure. Enough talking. Fish are biting, man. Climb, it's... Does fish just go crazy for him? Oh yes. I'm gonna keep walking around and I actually wanted to explore the entire basin, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna hit that side and then walk around. But hey, it's good to see you, man. Hit me up another time. Always, man. Yeah, you gotta do the fist bump. Come fist on, bump, dude. Man. You know that. Good luck. Fair enough. Good luck. I'll catch you next time. Uh, I'll see you around.
Oh, yo, that fish, I don't know what that was. It looked like a decent sized striper. It was following my bait. This jerk bait is on fire right now. So these tidal fish are very aggressive right now. Perfect water temp. I'm just, I'm literally slashing this bait. This is why I'm using an X wrap, not a pointer. I'm slashing this bait as fast as I can. Quick jerks. I'm just making that bait dance and flutter in the water. And these fish are definitely reacting to it, which is awesome to see. I'm, man, my arm's getting a little tired, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to put this down. I'm gonna fish this the rest of the day. There, there he is. Oh, it's a little guy. All right, another one on the, yeah, that's the one that I saw, he came up. I thought it was a striper. Another little bass. All right, we'll take him though. I mean, I'm hooking all these guys. I don't think, I think every fish but one was hooked outside of the mouth. These guys are just, oh, okay, he's ready to go. Get out of here. If you guys look here, we have an interesting development. The water clarity has been quite excellent. You can probably see down three to four feet easily, but tides coming in from the main river. Look at that. Muddy water coming in from the main river, probably from, I don't know. Oh, I think there's a fish right there. Probably from the range yesterday, but that's definitely gonna mess up the water clarity and probably gonna mess up the fishing in this area. So what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna run away from the tide and keep fishing along that a ways. So the bite slowed down, and as you can see, I'm in a very polluted section of the tidal basin. And there's no way this is gonna work, but I'm just doing it, because what the heck. We are throwing a frog in early April on this trash. Oh my God, you guys see that? It's a three and a half pounder. Fudge me. God, I gotta get him. Okay, we gotta get him, we gotta get him. I just switched back to the jerk bait after we left that disgusting muck. God, that's a nice. No, why? The biggest fish of the day. He just comes up, looks at my bait. He's like, nah, screw you one rod. You ain't gonna catch me today. God, that, that could have even been bigger than three and a half. Dang it, man. Oh, I know there's a fish here. Bingo. 100 bucks. Catch one right here. There it is. Show me the money, baby. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good largie. Did I call it or did I call it? You can predict the patterns of these fish in tidal waters. That's a nice largie right here. Oh man, my camera wasn't even facing. <laughs> you guys are probably staring at my junk the whole time. <laughs> All right. All right, we got him though. So basically what I did, I made a cast, precision cast, right against the wall in that corner. And this guy was just hanging out there, right up against it. Should I lift him? Ah, YOLO. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. That's the biggest fish of the day. Heaviest fish. We'll get a weight on him. On the old Kitek fish head spin combo. Perfect shad imitation. So, another nice fat pre-spawn largey. All right, let her go. Off she goes. Good, how are you? Oh, thank you. Even donation, donation, peace. Thank Dona you. Huh? How much donation? I don't have any, um, I don't have any money to donate. No Sorry money. about that. No money. <laughs> no, I don't have any money. Sorry about bye that. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>